Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today we are featuring another um, Bible journaling company, I guess. Um, this is Creative Faith and Company. She has an Etsy shop. She is super, super sweet, and she reached out to me about trying out some of her printables and bringing them to you guys, and she was super generous and sent me several different sets. Let me pick some sets, um, and so she's super, super fun. She's got printables over on her Etsy shop as well as actual kits and products that you can order and have sent to you, so physical product as well. So, um, And an extra little bonus is she does content in English and Spanish, so if you're somebody who is bilingual or Spanish speaking um, and is having a hard time finding content that caters to that, um, this is a great shop to check out. She's just so, so cute. Uh, so I have a couple different sets here. This one here, Courageous, is her newest digital set. And uh, I went ahead and just printed mine out on cardstock. And she's got some really fun elements. This would be really cool to print on clear label paper or do... Um, two of these on one page to make the elements a little bit smaller if you wanted to. Uh, I also think it's hard to find content that is masculine or not as girly and frilly. And she has girly frilly. I'm going to use girly frilly today. Um, but this kit is great for those who are looking for something a little more masculine as well. I mean, of course, you've got hearts and stuff, so girls can use it. But the coloring and things, you know, I have a hard time finding kits that my boys, I have two, uh, tw I have twin year old, 10, I have twin 10 year old boys and it's hard to find them stuff that they want to use in their journaling. And so a kit like this would be great. So you've got some tabs, um, some bigger elements like this. I love that she's got some definitions and I think just a lot of thought goes into what types of elements she's including and what's on those elements. So you've got some bigger pieces that you could do as journaling tip-ins, um, but she's got devotional content as well as like some reflection questions. I mean, there's just a lot of uh, just content to these kits and not just the fun stuff um, that we see with some other other kits and things like that. So you've got these pieces you could use as washi strips or, you know, cut them on cardstock and use them to cut tabs out of. And then you've got this other bigger piece that you can use as a tip in. This one here is sized to fit in a margin and then some fun word fetty that you can use along with the kit. So this is the newest kit available, um, but I am not gonna use this one today. I'm gonna be using Entwined. This is a little bit older. Um, printable that she has over in her shop. I've already gone ahead and taken mine all apart and <laughs> cut it apart, but this one does also have uh, devotional content and then some prompt questions to work through as you go through the kit. And it's got some uh, bigger pieces that you can use as tip-ins. I'm gonna be creating a journaling tip-in today, I think, using one of these pieces here. I just printed mine on 65 pound white cardstock. You've got these pieces that could be washi strips or tabs. Um, you've got this piece here that's got the verse. You've got word fetty. You've got some fun floral pieces, tabs. I mean, there's just so much. You could get more than one page out of this kit for sure because it's got several verses and a lot of different pieces that you can use in a variety of entries. So we are going to dive right in. I'll put you on fast forward and kind of talk about the devotional content as I put together a really quick and easy, hopefully, <laughs> page using this kit. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I've gone ahead and picked out a few of the pieces that I know I want to use in the entry today, and I'm going to do a lot of journaling, so I'm going to be creating a tip-in with one of these larger pieces. So I am working in John chapter 1, which is one of the uh, suggested verses in the devotional content. There's several verses, um, but the entire devotional entwined is really talking about uh God's story and our story and how those work together and are, are intertwined and what that looks like. And so we kind of dive into that. And so um, for this particular entry in John chapter one, um, we're going to look at all three of, you know, God's story, our story together, and then my 
story basically. So let me go ahead and just read to you uh, John chapter, part of John chapter one. I'm reading from the ESV version and on screen here, it's pretty simple, just taping things together from the kit. So, uh, so here in the Bible, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory is of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God who is at the Father's side, he has made him known. Now, we uh, looked at this passage if you worked through the Word Nerd devotional kit from Illustrated Faith, and I had actually already journaled, you'll see on the left-hand side there, um, and kind of dug into this passage, um, but I got even more from this devotional in just a different way. We just kind of looked at this passage in a different way than we did through Word Nerd. Uh, and I actually, this uh, entry that I did is the most notes and prayer writing and things like that I think I've ever done in a Bible journaling entry. And so this devotional is uh, small but mighty. <laughs> it really made me think um about how our life, our life story is intertwined with God. And um, I will never forget, I went to a retreat several years ago and the speaker at that retreat was talking kind of about this very thing. And, um, you know, we live in a society and as people, we get caught up in ourselves and an inward reflection and we think that we are the main character of the of our life but actually we are not um we are just a little side part a little like backup extra person in the crowd if you read through the bible i mean we um god is the main character and even though we may have experiences in our lives that um give us a story to tell. Ultimately, those stories aren't about us. It's about God and his work in our life. So um, I've shared um, over the years kind of a little bit of my testimony and some of the, you know, the stories that make um, me who I am. You know, we went through a really difficult time with my boys when they were born, um, being premature and just their crazy birth story and, and how that ultimately um, caused me to be saved. Um, and then we fast forward to my husband and I and our marriage story and how close we came to divorce and, and just the healing and... and um, things that went on with that. But so you can look at that and look at that as my story. But really, when you dig in, it was opportunities for God to shine and God to step in and uh, show his attributes through those events in my life. And so through this devotional, you're kind of looking at how that's intertwined together, you know, uh, depending on how you look at it. It's not really about me being the mother of, you know, miracle babies or my marriage being a testimony of, you know, a church coming into our lives and saving us. It's really, you know, about how God can heal and restore things. And so uh, I would encourage you to head on over to this Etsy shop and check out her printables. Um, and just even if you're, maybe it's not your style or you have tons of product already, for $3 for a printable to get devotional content like this is definitely worth it in my book. Um, anything to kind of get you to dig into the word even more and do some reflection. And I've really been enjoying writing out prayers in this particular journaling Bible. So uh, some of it's note taking and, and reflections, but a lot of it's just writing out prayers to God in this Bible. And so I kind of did a little bit of both of that with this tip in 
and the margin but you can see I'm not doing anything revolutionary on the page uh, I added some acrylic paint that tied in um, with the colors of the kit and just stuck things down with tape nothing fancy here I'm gonna stick this tip in into my Bible I'm using some uh, score tape this is 1 8 inch it's very 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 narrow but it's a very very strong adhesive I love this for adding tip ins into that center um, part of my Bible because it's not super bulky but um, it will hold on super well so I will go ahead and off camera add in all of my journaling. I have tons of room for journaling in this entry. Super fun, bright spring colors. So definitely go check out uh, her shop. That's Creative Faith and Company. Uh, I'll have links down below. Go check out my blog. I'll have more links over there. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you were inspired. Leave me any questions or comments you might have down there and we can have conversations down there. I love doing that with you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.